Hey everyone, welcome to our first tutorial on the Avatar Builder. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be introducing the UI of the Avatar Builder to you, as well as showing a little bit of comparison between the Avatar Builder and our Avatar Toolkit, which uh, puppets the accessories and all that fun stuff. All right, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Set tab. I'm going to bring in my Avatar Builder and my Avatar Controller dummies here. So there we go, Avatar Toolkit Volume 2. I'm just going to add in my Avatar Builder first, and you can see that little window pops up. Uh, we have accessories, expressions, and alignment, which we'll talk about in a bit. And then I'll go ahead and add my avatar controller as well. Now remember that you can move around these windows as, as you like. Uh, you can go ahead and minimize them in different areas of your of your uh, scene there, of your 3D view. And what's new with Avatar Builder too is that you can actually uh, go into window mode, and that'll take it out of your 3D view. So you can uh, get a little bit more space to work there as well. So you can move that around, uh, a lot more freedom there. All right, so I'll just uh, go ahead and minimize this for now. And what I'm going to do is actually, if I close down the Avatar Builder, I'll show you how you can pop it up again. Just right-click, Script, and Avatar Builder, and it'll pop right back up again. So you can just go ahead and close it if you'd like. I have my Avatar Controller here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in one of our actors here. So I'm going to go to the Actor section uh, over the Templates. Uh, and you can see I have Monster Workshop Volume 1. I'm going to use uh, one of the uh, characters from that pack there. I'm just going to use this uh, Indigo Base. You can see he has no eyes, no eyebrows, no ears, a little bit creepy at first. Um, but that's because we haven't added any accessories onto him. So I'm going to show you, I'm just going to review quickly the uh, relationship between the accessories and the avatar controller window here. So let's go over to uh, actor and accessories. And if I bring in, uh, if I go to the Monster Workshop Volume 1 here, I can uh, select puppet parts. If you may recall that uh, puppet parts are able to be controlled by the avatar controller. Uh, whereas spring parts just react naturally uh, uh, springy to the uh, movements of your character. Um, so if I just maybe bring in some ears here, you can see that all of a sudden my ears are there and my avatar controller lights up uh, the expression section. I can move around the ears. Now the ears move in the expression section because they have also been um, defined as part of the uh, overall expression. In the expression section here, in the expression tab, you can um, puppet multiple uh, parts such as eyes, ears, mouths, and uh, eyebrows, and everything at the same time to create a kind of overall expression. Um, but you can see that the eyes tab is uh, disabled. There's no controls available here because those are not defined as eyes. The uh, brows, nothing there. But the ears section, you can see we have those. I can move those around. I can uh, move them individually, uh, left or right, like that. Um, I can I, I can invert them as well. So if I want them to move in opposite ways. You can do that, and the variation will make them larger and smaller like that. So we have both dot control and slider control uh, set to these ears. Now I'll show you another quick example. If I go ahead and delete these ears, I can maybe add in some eyebrows, even though he doesn't have any eyes. We'll just go ahead and add in these eyebrows here, these old grandpa eyebrows here. Now you can see that in the other section, nothing's there. Here's nothing there, but they have been defined as brows. You can see that we uh, are able to puppet those. They're inverted right now. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, delete Indigo for now. We don't need him at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do now is focus on the relationship between the Avatar Builder uh, and the Avatar Controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add an accessory uh, to a character. So I'm going to go to my uh, custom tab here. I'm going to add in this uh, AT Base guy here. Sounds like a rapper name. Avatar Toolkit uh, Base is what he means. Um, so we have this guy right here, and he, obviously he has no accessories on him. But if I go to the Expression tab, you can see I have some uh, head movement uh, defined in his expression here. Just head tilting, that's about it. You can go ahead, you can remove that in your Avatar Builder as well at a later date. But nothing selected for eyes, no brows, no ears, and totally nothing on his character. So what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, Set tab here, and I want to move down, and I want to go to my uh, Spring folder, and I'm going to add an antenna. And you can see it hasn't been... Uh, aligned to the character, which we'll talk about in a separate tutorial. But I'll go ahead and I'll move up this uh, antenna, just so it looks a little bit cool on the top of his head there. Uh, looks like an extended uh, Reddit alien there. Um, but basically we have that antenna set up there. Now you can see in the uh, top section of the Modify panel, it's defined as a prop. So what we want to do in order to uh, puppet that in our Avatar Builder, is we want to assign that as an accessory. So the quickest way to do that, normally you would uh, you would add a dummy as well, but the quickest way to do that is you can right click on your accessory, on your prop rather, and you can just go ahead and attach, 
and just attach it to your character and then boom all of a sudden it's defined as an accessory uh, in your modify panel and you can see in the scene manager it is a sub prop or rather an accessory now of root node who is my uh, character uh, so I've named my character there all right so we have the antenna attached now what I need to do is let's go ahead and bring up the avatar builder so if I selected my avatar builder there let's move it out of the way here since so he's not sitting on it I can go ahead and right click and bring that up again avatar builder and if I bring that, um, move that to window mode there. If I go and I select uh, accessories, uh, what I need to do is select accessories and then select the accessory that I want to uh, build uh, or want to define. Okay, so I'm going to select accessories here and then I can select the antenna either from the uh, scene manager in the bottom or in the 3D view at the top. And normally the scene view is a little bit, or the scene manager is a little bit more accurate. So we'll just select that and you can see this big complicated avatar builder panel comes up. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to explain it uh, really briefly to you guys here. Uh, and you can see that our target accessory is antenna 02. You can sh uh, toggle the bones, show the bones on or off. Um, the object type is set to other. You can define it as a brow, as an ear, as an eye, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, it's a single structure. If I wanted to do something like eyes or eyebrows, I can select a pair as well. Um, you can see the UI panel. I can define that um, as a, in a four-way this way or this way, this direction or as well as uh, six different directions. So you can see uh, um, the corresponding uh, four-way here in eyes has six ways. Um, ears has four ways as well. So we can define any one of those uh, different uh, UIs. Uh, I'll just go back to uh, other tab right now. Um, I can also select enable expression, which means this um, accessory will be puppeted along with my uh, complete ex expression. Um, it really depends on whether or not you want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and quickly define this um, as an other object. Uh, in order to do that, I need to define the roots really quickly. So don't worry about what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to quickly define these roots. Um, we have, we're going to have a separate tutorial for how to correctly define the roots of your accessories. Um, so I'm just going to go to the single. Um, and you're going to see that I'll just... Uh, this corresponds with the uh, dot controller on my avatar controller. And this one corresponds with the slider controller. Don't worry about this right now. I'm just going to go apply. And then we need to go to our next tab. And here's basically where you can define what happens when your prop, uh, when you move your dot controller here, when you move it here, when you move it here, whether or not your uh, accessory expands or curls around or does whatever. Um, this is where you define that. But we're not going to do that again right now. I'm just going to go OK. And I'm going to show you now that um, if I go to the uh, other tab, which I'm already at, now we have our dot controller, which is enabled. Um, but I haven't defined any motion to it yet. So we're not going to worry about that in this tutorial again. Uh, we'll talk about that in a separate tutorial. But just notice that if I go to the ears section, nothing's there. Brows tab, nothing there. Eyes tab, nothing there. And only the expression has the uh, same head tilting as it did before. Now, if I go back um, to the avatar builder here, I can go ahead and define expressions as well, which we'll talk about in a separate tutorial. And also alignment, uh, which you can see when I added that accessory. It did not align correctly to my character. I had to move it up. Um, I'll show you how you can select alignment or you can define the alignment rather and have that automatically attached to the correct part of your character every single time. All right, so what I'll do now is I'm just going to go to project. We're going to load in a different project here called AT Ears. And this is the same character basically just with a couple of ears as opposed to a single antenna. And if I just drag my avatar toolkit over here, I have my character selected. You can see that if I go to the uh, eyes tab, there's nothing there. Browse tab, nothing there. However, the ears are available to be uh, moved around and puppeted. Um, again, we can uh, separate those individually and invert them as well. Just like the uh, example I showed you previously, uh, the variation for this one will actually change the material color, which is pretty cool. And we'll talk about how to do that later as well. Uh, in the other tab, of course, there's nothing there. But what I wanted to show you is if I'm just going to minimize the content manager here now, you can see there's my avatar and there's his uh, ear or rather ears. There's two of them. So I'm just going to select uh, accessory here and I'm going to define my ears from the uh, scene manager there. Let's go to window mode here. So you can see now in the avatar toolkit builder, these uh, green lights indicate or the green text rather indicates that these have already been defined. Again, we're not going to go into that too much. We're just going to go back and you can see that I've uh, defined a right and a left controller handle uh, for these ears as well as the root. What I wanted to uh, show you is that we have the option to, uh, you know, um, select single 
or pair. So you can see now that this one's defined as ear. If I went ahead and defined that as brow, for example, this is defined as a pair of ears. If I, if I defined it as a pair of brows, it won't really make much of a difference. I can just go ahead and go next. Um, perform data will be cleared. We'll just go ahead and I'll press OK. But you can see that it erased my data, but now it's no longer defined as ears. They are now defined as brows. And now they're not moving around because my perform data was cleared. But you can notice that it really doesn't matter what you define them as. Um, they all have the same results. Um, you can totally customize the UI panel and everything like that. All right, so stay tuned. We have a lot of tutorials on our uh, um, Avatar Toolkit Builder. Uh, we're going to talk about how you can define your roots, how you can uh, you know, attach accessories to your character, and all the other fun stuff you can do. So stick around.